Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have yours truly in the tier 8 Russian uh, premium double barrel tank destroyer. It is the IC122-2. Um, so yeah, we're going to go with a rotation device, going to go with vents and a turbo on this one. So, why did I want to feature the ISU again? Like, I did feature it at first when it just came out in the, uh, the special auction. When it actually sold for almost minimum bid, which was extremely surprising. I thought it was going to go at least, like, one to 2,000 gold higher than the minimum bid. But it went, if I'm not mistaken, like 100, 200 gold over that, which was, like, ridiculous. I actually made a video called... Uh, you will regret it or like the players will regret it or something for not buying this vehicle and I will leave a link to that in the description if anyone wishes to go and check this one out but this replay right it is a decent match tier 7 tier 9 vehicle sitting right in between sitting in the middle of the list over here and uh, yeah this vehicle is just so much fun it's probably the most fun I've had in the game it's out of any vehicle I've ever played it's just like double you have the double barrel you have decent enough mobility and just look at this boom a double into the caro p88 that's your seven italian heavy tank because you do have the two second kind of load time wind up time i guess before the double fires you can drive forwards look at someone charge the double and then the aim time is kind of like the uh the charging time right so it just fits so perfectly it's just everything just goes into position fits nicely into position with this vehicle it has decent speed with 40 kilometers an hour top speed 20 kilometers an hour uh, reverse speed which is really nice i mean definitely not bad 15 uh, horsepower per ton which is pretty good as well and look at this can we get the hawk can we get that unfortunately we cannot get the hawk the only as well no Okay, um, yeah, I love double barreling, like, I could fire a single shot over here, but the double barrels, it's where it's at. I mean, the whole point of this video is to show you how much fun this vehicle is, right? Can we get the Gothic Cup with the double over here? Unfortunately, this one doesn't hit. This one doesn't hit, unfortunately. And when you do have 0.36 dispersion, if I'm not mistaken, base, then you hit quite often. You actually hit quite often with this vehicle. It's just so much fun. Go forwards, put the double, fall back. Go forwards, put the double, fall back. And, I mean, the reload isn't that long. 17 and a half seconds with another uh, one second of lockdown period, right? The lockdown between the loading. Of, trying, to, trying to put two into the Hawk, actually not pulling the trigger there, trying to catch him from behind the building. But there's actually no only hit the way and doing 812 to the tier 7 Japanese heavy tank. Um, so you have 780 average damage with those two shells, 390 per shot, and I mean, because that reload is very long, I mean, it's not the reload, the switching between the gun barrels, when you do shoot single, is almost like the reload of another shell, right? So why not just save two shells and then double every single time to have maximum fun trying to catch the T-71 over here? Mobu. No, unfortunately that didn't work out. <laughs> Uh, but this is just how I love playing the ISC-122, trying to double uh, the g 1010 over there. The, that shot was so good that we actually broke the replay. That was so amazing. It was so amazing we broke it, trying to spot the Fosh over here, just keep him lit up. Better the Fosh is not going forwards. Um, but like I said, I just love doubling everything I see because it's, just, it's so much fun. And uh, that's why we play the game, right? To have some fun. Okay. Okay, but so far, um, only 50% of our doubles hit, which is uh, not the percentage you would like, but the Fosh is going forwards. Can we catch that? Very dangerous tier 9 French tank destroyer over here. Trying to see, maybe there's a shot into the component. There we go. There we go, trying to catch the out and trying to go with a single this time. A single shot of this time, because, uh, I mean, do I really want to shoot twice? And then... Uh, not have any shells remaining, but this time we're going to go for the double into the cupola of the Fosh, finishing off the tier 9 French tank destroyer over there. My goodness, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Didn't even talk about I don't think I talked about the pen. 258mm of penetration with the ranking rounds. We also have heat rounds with 300mm of penetration. So very decent all round. I don't take a lot of HE because 
I mean, it's an okay type of thing, 68 millimeters with 530 alpha damage. But you don't really use them too much, except for against like Scorpion Gs maybe. Um, and very lightly armored vehicles. Borsig, SUPM vehicles like that. I usually go after the more heavily armored vehicles when I'm playing the ISU, so I do take a lot of regular rounds and gold as well. Okay, okay, but this game still not looking very nice. Down by three vehicles, down by over 1,000 damage. Trying to give a blind shot into the T-71, but it just gets spotted, and that means that it was just a waste of shells over here. Thought maybe it can catch the cheeky T-7 American light tank, but no. But no, that did not happen. And yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty much how I love playing the IC-122. Just go forwards, put the double, fall back, because you do have the very, very good reverse speed as well. So you can escape out of danger whenever you like. Okay. Where's the Hawk? Can we catch the Hawk 30? That premium German light tank has been skulking around over here for the entirety of this battle. This is not good. It is not fun. We're getting spotted by the Hawk constantly. Okay, the T-71 is pushing forwards. Is he actually going to go and try to take the center of the map? Can we double the T-71? There we go. There we go. The T-71 says no. You see, I actually tried to charge the double. But there's the Hawk. I know he's a one, so I'm going to fire only one this time. Finish off the German light tank over there. I do have 390 average damage. So, I mean, you can also fire single fires if you want with this vehicle. 390 damage per shot. Is definitely not a small amount. I mean, it's not as high as, you know, Scorpions, T-103s, SUPMs, all of those uh, tank destroyers, but it's not a small amount. So, yeah, you can go single, 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 but personally, I just I just enjoy the sound of the double barrel and the big numbers, right? You also can set people on fire and do a lot of Amorax if you do go for doubles, um, especially with this vehicle. I mean, this this is just, if you know where to aim, if you know where, like, the Amorak is, or the fuel tank, or a weak engine, you can do a lot of internal damage with this vehicle. Speaking of the engine, right, this vehicle actually has pretty bad armor, like, the, the hull armor is very bad. It's kind of like an, ah, yes, let's see what's good, just putting a double somewhere, but if you just look at the hull, it's the backside of the IS, right? And if you look at the, it's the front of the IS, and the backside. So it's kind of like they took the hull of the IES, the tier 7 heavy, and built something on it. And you're driving backwards. So this is this is ridiculous, actually, but I love this. I mean, I love ridiculous stuff. It's funny. It's hilarious. I will take it. Okay, down by four vehicles and 4,000 HP, though. Seeing that the north has fallen, I can't let the enemy team... Okay, I was trying to be annoying a bit on stream, just... <laughs> yeah, don't don't mind a bear fish doing silly stuff. Um, but yeah, you can't let the enemies get good positions. You can't let them get behind you. You can't let them get the artillery. So, fell back over here. The T-103 actually spots us. We spot the T-103 trying to clash the T-103. Now can we do hit that T-103 before he hits us? That is not a shell. He wanted to take over there from that tier rate. Rush on the tank, destroy like we shut him down with that shell. My goodness, my goodness. This is very accurate, actually, for... A Russian tank destroyer, but that's the Leopard PTA. Are we going to go forwards? Yes, we do need to do damage. We need to do it quickly. We can't let the enemy team just get after us. Putting two shells into the Leopard PTA. 825 damage. Luckily, the artillery puts one as well. And now the Leopard PTA was on 487 HP. We still need two shells. We still need two shells. Um, unless the Chief re actually gets a shot in. Good stuff over here by the tier 7. Japanese medium tank, lovely stuff actually. Now the Leopard PTA is a bottle, but the G-Soul Titan is trying to get us from the side. Luckily the wz 111 ft is there to stop them with the support of the G-Soul 1008. But I want to finish off this Leopard. I just didn't want the Leopard shooting me again. And the Oni is actually going for Zaki. The Leopard bounces off us, but we don't pen two shots against the tier 7 Japanese heavy tank. This is bad. This is bad. And the RT misses him as well. My goodness, we did need that double over here. We're down by three vehicles, down by 3,000 HP. This is not good. Try to catch this only. Are we going to wait for the second shell? Yes, we are indeed. Putting one into the only, finishing them off. And now the Leopard PTA is going for us, but the Govica is over here as well. This is not good. That is a tier 7 Polish 
tank destroyer that has very high alpha damage, 420 if I'm not mistaken. You don't want to get hit by that, but putting one in the number between finishing him off. And it's only one vehicle between us and the enemy team, but 2000 HP, which is never good. It is never nice. Trying to double the Govica. We might be able to two shot him if we get some high rolls. If we get some high rolls, putting two into the upper weaker part, but one doesn't pen. Luckily, one, the dead pen, did a lot of damage, 468, which is a huge high roll, which is exactly what we needed. Can we reload before the Govica? We do not want to take a hit over here. Actually getting hit by my own artillery and getting stunned. <laughs> oh, no, giving him the... Uh... How dare you, sir. Look over there. After getting hit by the M5355. But luckily we survived this encounter with the Leopard and the Govica. Still with 683 HP. Oh my goodness. This was lovely. It's just like, you know, map awareness is huge. Seeing that the enemy team is winning the north seeing that a lot of the vehicles are still towards the east, but all of your allies are clustered over there as well, right? So you can't let the enemy team push behind your allies. Even if it's just for spotting, if I wasn't going over there, you would have the Oni, you have the Leopard, you have the G-Saw, um, you have the T-71, the Govica, all of those vehicles would have gotten behind us, would have finished off our artillery, and probably the W7 G-Saw as well. So, making the play to get into a good position to spot for your teammates even. But I mean, this vehicle doesn't have view range, it's 370 base view range. Definitely not impressive. But you still need to make some sort of play to support your teammates. And there we go, going forwards, I know the Scorpion can't one-shot me. Oh my goodness, but the Yudas is spotting in the center. The Yudas is trying to travel through the water. I'm going to try and double, maybe track him inside the water, but you can't track him, unfortunately. Luckily, the RT finishes him off and I we dodge the enemy artillery over here crazy stuff we're still not a one shot at the scorpion g so we can go forwards this is where i was kind of thinking do i want to switch to an he cling right i don't know how much the scorpion has what do we do how do we do it go forwards then i decided i will request some help i know the scorpion g is now a one shot the g so actually levels and can't finish off the scorpion g the second one misses which is very bad can you get the third one he does not actually go for the kill over here probably fearing the CS44 that might be able to one shot going forwards into the Scorpion G can't let him get a shot into my teammates trying to rock the vehicle backwards and forth but the M53 finishes off the Scorpion G first lovely stuff over here but unfortunately the enemy M5355 actually finishes off the G1008 I know it is a 3v2 in our favor turning that what was it four vehicles down 4000 HP down into actually up by one vehicle and by almost 500 HP, so lovely stuff over here. Seven kills, 6,000 damage so far. Still a CS44 remaining and the enemy artillery, but there's not a lot of time, only two and a half minutes remaining. How do we win this one? Also, the M53 is a very fast vehicle. I mean, it, it's probably one of the fastest artillery. Um, at tier 9, maybe just behind the bat chat. My goodness, can we catch them both? Just trying to go forwards here. This is where you just push, right? Exactly. So I'm saying in the chat, time! Oh, sure. Hoping the WZ will go forwards because I'm still seeing him at the back waiting for something. We can't wait at the back. We don't have the time. A lot of people just wait and hope that the enemy will make a mistake. You can't do that. Go forwards. Go for the win always. Like a draw, you get the same amount of stuff as if you lost. Right? So shot won't show as a loss in your stats or whatever. But you won't get the, the XP. You won't get the credits. Just go for the win. Always go for the win. Trying to double the CS44. There we go. Two into the max out of that. Uh, apparently AFK. Tier 7. Polish medium tank. And are we going forwards? Can we actually get into the cap in time? We do need the WZ to go with us. I'm telling him we're going to capture the base. Cap. There we go. Together. Yes. And we do see the WZ actually going forwards over here. Going forwards. I thought maybe the artillery actually went towards uh, the northwest over here. Like I said, it is a fast artillery. I thought maybe we can catch him through the bush over here but nothing is spotted where is that cheeky artillery we do not have the time we do not have the time we need the wz can the wz arrive on time into the camp circle can we make it my goodness oh my goodness go <laughs> go go wz oh no trying to cheer on my ally into that tier raid uh chinese tank destroyer over here and there we go, the WZ arrives in time, and now it's only 30 seconds until the cap is up. We have 50 seconds until the battle is over. What is going to, to happen? Is the M53 going to catch us? My goodness. 
my goodness, I was scared the M53 might try to go forwards, clutches, and then run away again. So, yeah, I did switch over here to HE rounds to try and secure the kill with one shot, right? You don't want RNG to take part of the game when you don't have to. Five seconds remaining. The artillery actually fires just trying to shoot a couple of blind shots over here, but as soon as the RT misses, you know you have the win. Nice. Can we actually catch the M53? We can't. We cannot, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. This was a win. 6,776 damage that we've seen. I mean, did it fire a few blind shots, but did we actually hit anything? Gonna have to wait and see later. So, so, ISU 122-2. It's just so much fun. Like I said, sure, you don't have the armor. It's, it's very weak, even though it did bounce a few shells. With the upper part, don't trust the vehicle to bounce shells, okay? Like, it, it's not built for that. Like I said, it's the backside of the IS over here, so you will get penned most likely by most vehicles. The top part might bounce some tier 6, maybe some tier 7 vehicles from time to time, but yeah, definitely not an armored vehicle. It's more of a go forwards, put the double, and then run away with your pretty nice reverse speed, uh, considering I have a turbo. You know, it's it's very mobile, and yeah, just have fun. Just go and double, because it's hilarious. This, yes, you just saw how much fun it is. Uh, but yeah, nice game. Got the win, even though it was right to the last few seconds. Lovely stuff by the WZ as well. Really appreciate it. Uh, not Baby Rum in the WZ. Appreciate the support going forwards and capping. Amazing stuff by you as well. And who's your daddy in the M5355? Great job by the teammates. Amazing game. Um, and yeah, how amazing was this game? Let's go and have a quick look in the post-game stats. There we go. An ace tanker for the 2038 base experience. And um, the first mark of excellence I've actually gotten on this vehicle, which is always nice. A couple of these ribbons um, of Radley Walters for destroying eight vehicles in this battle. A high caliber for the 7,612 damage done over here. So I guess I did catch someone with... Uh, at least one, at least one of my blind shots over there. <clears throat> and yeah, Top Gun, of course, for getting six kills in one battle, this case eight. Like we saw, 7,000 damage, eight kills, 31 shots fired, 23 hit, 21 penetrated. So this is, this is actually a pretty decent hit to pen ratio, but <laughs> the shots fired to hits, I mean, you saw that I just like to shoot blind and stuff. And I do encourage you to do that as well, if you know there are positions where the enemy will send, let's say, tank destroyers or light tanks. You do have a lot of shells. You do have a nice amount of shells, and you can go for a few cheeky doubles to try and push them out of their position, right? Um, but yeah, 7,612 damage, 3,175 from a distance of more than 300 meters. So this vehicle can snipe. I mean, I've been sniping, I've been, I've been doing double barrel sniping with this vehicle from long range, and it works, and it's hilarious, and I love this. Um, so yeah, definitely you can do that as well, if that is what you'd like. Four hits received, one penetrated, and three didn't. This is crazy. Like, most of the time it's the opposite. Like, you get the occasional uh, non-penetration, and most of the time they will penetrate, but I guess I got very lucky in this round. Uh, three hits also received as a result of splash damage by artillery, by HE firing vehicles, 1,080 damage blocked by the armor. Once again, really surprising. Uh, 10 vehicles damaged, 8 destroyed, 364 damage caused with the player's assistance. I actually thought I had more over here because I did spot some of the vehicles towards the west when they made the advance, but I guess uh, the damage was also caused by yours truly most of the time. Base capture points, 69 and nice, and uh, the lovely 31 by the WZ as well. GG well played, securing us the win. 4.5 kilometers traveled, so you can travel. Like I said, this vehicle does have the speed, it has the mobility to go around the battlefield and double everything in its path. Um, but yeah, also not firing a lot of gold rounds. I think I didn't fire even a single gold round in this round, if I'm not mistaken. Only regular rounds and some HE, and that means we make a very juicy 303,000 credit profit, even though some of it was from completing missions, and it was with a premium, and with reserves, of course, so, 
it, it does stack up, but still 303,000 credits to experience some shit. <laughs> um, it's a very juicy amount to get over here. In this 40 minute and 45 second battle, we also got 7,948 total experience with 306 free experience total. So, lovely stuff over here. 7,000 damage is always nice to get with your tier 8 vehicles, Radley Walters, and just like moving from one position to another, right? Taking the south, seeing that we're losing another area, going over there, winning there, going back south. It's like, just go to the position that needs you. Right, and if you have the ISU, if you're able to get the ISU during that auction, it's just so much fun, right? Just go and double stuff. It's lovely. It is very lovely, and hopefully you enjoy it at least as much as I do, right? Uh, but yeah, this is it for this video. So as usual, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the ISU 122.2? Were you able to get it in the auction? Do you like it as much as I do? Maybe you actually think it's not very good, not very fun? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. And as usual, thank you so much everyone for watching. You're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tata's people have a good one.